Hi, it's Cory Booker, Senator of our great state of New Jersey. I want to thank the entire community for making this day possible, but particularly, I want to say to the 2020 graduates, I am so grateful for your grit and your guts, uh, for your service and your sacrifice, everything that you did on your journey that's led to this day. I congratulate you, I celebrate you, and I thank you for making us so much more so Jersey strong. So class of 2020, this is not the graduation experience that you wanted or you invited. And I've learned in my life that in many ways you can't control circumstances. You can't control what happens to you, but you can control your response. This great author named Viktor Frankl who wrote a book about surviving the Holocaust. And he said that the last of the great human freedoms is to choose your attitude in any given set of circumstances. And he says there's always a choice every day, every hour, he says you're offered a decision. That between stimulus and response, that's your power. It's a decision, he wrote, that's gonna determine whether you submit to the powers around you which threaten to rob you of your dignity and your worth, or do you manifest that great freedom that can never be stripped from you, which is to show up. To me, that is a challenge. Life is not about a destination. It's where you are every day, what you're bringing, what spirit do you choose to bring into the world. Class of 2020, you are going to go on and do amazing things, attend, achieve great positions, titles in your life, but those will never define who you are. You do daily. Life is not about a destination. It's what you bring to the journey, and I hope you bring your power, your power of love, that's what this world needs right now. It needs light workers in darkness. It needs kindness in a time of too much meanness. It needs unifiers in a time of too much division. And that's not seen best in the grand acts and the grand gestures, but the daily decisions we make. Don't underestimate your power. Use it every day to make a difference in this world that so needs you. Thank you, class of 2020. And God bless you. You've tamed the voices in your head. You've put your courage to the test. Laid all your doubts to rest. Your mind is clearer than before. Your heart is full and wanting more. Your future's at the door. Give it all you got. No hesitating. You've been waiting. This is your moment Good morning. My name is Reverend Anita Wright. I am the director of the Office of Spiritual Life here at Bloomfield College. This morning, I will be bringing you our invocation. To our graduates, congratulations. Let us pray. God, for bringing us to this moment, we say thank you. For bringing us through four years of trials and tribulations, we thank you for coming to the end of a very difficult journey during the time of a pandemic, a global pandemic. We never could have imagined that it would end this way, but yet we are here. We invite your presence, O oh God, as we celebrate in the midst of so much sadness, as we see the silver lining in our cloud, as we see the rainbow at the end of a storm, we say thank you. Thank you for bringing us through death and sickness, through struggles, through doubts, discernment. We thank you for we are here and we have made it. And so now we pray your presence. This is our prayer in the name of the one to whomever you pray. Amen.
Thank you, Reverend Wright. Greetings and congratulations to the class of 2020. My name is Bill Turner, serving as chairman of the board. On behalf of the entire board, it is my honor and pleasure to celebrate this momentous and virtual occasion with you. While operate, operating in person would be our choice, we, we do not want to let this momentous occasion go unrecognized. Congratulations to each and every one of you on this special day. The board looks forward to a future commencement ceremony when we can celebrate together. Bloomfield is a very special place. Uh, as trustees, we appreciate being part of this college family. It is now my pleasure to introduce our terrific and fearless leader, the president of Bloomfield College, Marquita P. Evans. Okay. Thank you, Chairman Turner. Hello, Class 2020, and welcome to this very special day and virtual celebration, a day that you and your family will never forget. Many months ago, when we, when we began planning for your commencement ceremony, we certainly did not expect to be going through these challenging and unprecedented times. Although we are not physically together today, we hope you enjoy this virtual recognition. There is no way we wanted this day to pass, this moment in your history to go by without pausing and letting you know how very proud we are of you and your accomplishment. Even though we're celebrating this virtual celebration today, please know that at some point in the very near future, we will have your face-to-face -face formal commencement ceremony together. You know, today is a day for you to reflect on your past, celebrate the present, and look forward to the future. Think about your past and what it took to get you here today. Do you remember your first day in college, the first year pursuing your degree? Were you nervous, anxious? Did you wonder if you could do it? I hope when you think back, it brings a smile to your face because guess what, you did it. Be proud of your accomplishments. Celebrate the present. Today, your dream is fulfilled. The simple definition of a dream is a strongly desired goal or purpose. The reason why we're celebrating today is because you had that dream, a dream to attain this degree. This desire was so strong that no matter how long or whatever was put in your way, nothing could stop you from being successful. You may have had some bumps along the way to get to this moment, but guess what? You did it. No matter how difficult some of your classes may have been, no matter how tired you were, no matter how crazy you thought some of your professors were or how nutty you thought some of those assignments were that they gave you, you continued. You persevered and you not only survived, but guess what? You're thriving. I see it. So give yourselves a big round of applause. You know, before I conclude my remarks today, though, I also want you to take a moment to think about all the people who helped you along the way. You must realize that the successful completion of your dream would not be possible without the help of others. You are not an island. All of those beautiful people that are now watching you attain your dream, this wonderful accomplishment, they are a witness. Let's think about it for a moment. Had there ever been a time as you were going through your academic journey that you thought, I'm not going to make it. I just can't do it. There's not enough money. There's not enough time. This is just too hard or difficult. At those times when you felt like quitting, felt like throwing in the towel, who was in your life that helped you, that pulled you through even in spite of yourself at times? Was it your best friend? Was it your family? Was it your significant other? Or could it have been a professor or staff member? Was it your faith and spiritual connection? Just think about it. The bottom line is that we can all dream dreams, but to achieve them, we must have the support of others. They were there to talk you through the difficult times, to help you stay on track and help motivate you when you didn't feel like doing it. Also, they were there just for you just to kick back and have some fun when you needed some downtime. You know, there's an African proverb that states, it takes a village. 
So if you haven't done so already, I urge you to thank the villagers in your life and then become a villager for someone else. So part of your degree actually belongs to them. Everything you've experienced in the past and present has prepared you for the days and years ahead. Your future, with your Bloomfield College degree, the sky is the limit. You know, there's this Bible verse my grandmother would say to me all the time. For everyone to whom much is given of him shall be much required. You've attained your degree, your education. No one can ever take that away from you. It is yours forever and ever. So be bold, be extraordinary, be the heart of Bloomfield College. On behalf of the entire Bloomfield College community, we're so proud of you and wish you all heartfelt congratulations. God bless. And now for our Bloomfield College 2020 graduates and our wonderful guest, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Mrs. Mona Scott Young. While working at Radio City Music Hall, Ms. Scott Young was approached by the Brooklyn Group Trackmasters to come on board as their manager. Through them, she met music executive Chris Lighty. And in 1996, the two co-founded the management company Violator. Over the course of 20 years, Violator helped launch and revamp the careers of artists such as Buster Rhymes, LL Cool J, Q-Tip, 50 Cent, Mariah Carey, Fantasia, and Missy Elliott, who she still manages today. Later, Scott Young transitioned into television creating her own television production company called Mona Me Productions. Shortly after, she was approached and asked to develop a reality television series which centered on rapper Jim Jones. The series, now known as Love and Hip Hop, went on to become a huge success. Ladies and gentlemen, in our graduating class of 2020, help me welcome Mrs. Mona Scott Young. Good afternoon, graduates, family, friends, faculty, and you proud parents who are all here today to celebrate the Bloomfield College graduating class of 2020. I'd like to start by thanking the administrators and faculty of Bloomfield College, Dr. Patrick Lamy and the president, Dr. Marquita Evans, for inviting me to speak on this momentous occasion. I'm grateful, humbled, and I have to admit, very nervous to be part of this very, very special day in your lives. When I received the invitation to speak, I was honored, but immediately I thought to myself, what on earth am I going to say? I had no idea at that time, but I knew that this request was too deep an honor for me not to accept. So I accepted and here I am. So here we go. You have all heard the list of my accomplishments and successes. Some of you may have even been impressed. But what many of you may not know is that my success did not come with the benefit or the advantage of a college degree. Not by choice or even by preference, but merely by result of circumstance, as I didn't have the benefit or the advantage of attending college. But I didn't allow that to deter me. I believe education can be found everywhere every day if we commit ourselves to constantly learning and growing. So I actually like to think of myself as having a master's degree from the University of Hard Knocks. I went out into the world very early, and as I figured out my path in life, I also realized that I had an entrepreneurial spirit. See, as a young girl, I had gotten firsthand exposure to the sacrifices of being an entrepreneur, what they used to call just being self-employed, by watching my single mother, an immigrant from Haiti, sell handmade arts and crafts to tourists and do any and everything necessary to give us the best life possible. She was my hero, strong, fearless, determined, but functionally illiterate. She had come from nothing, yet we wanted for nothing. Her tireless efforts to provide us with better opportunities than she'd ever had not only taught me the importance of making something out of nothing, but also that the true mark of success is when your success yields opportunities for others. Because of her, I always had this innate sense that I could do anything, and even without the benefit of degree, failure was never an option. Watching everything she was able to accomplish with her limited resources, I had to ask myself, how dare I not succeed? So I challenged myself, and I dared myself to be successful. 
A lot could have turned out differently in my life had I made different choices. But I attribute my life's accomplishments or my successes, if you will, to a few of the beliefs that I would love to share with you today. One, having vision and being motivated. Let's just call this degree versus desire. Yes, natural ability, talent, formal education, they all factor heavily into the formula for success. I won't ever deny that. But I also firmly believe that focus, commitment, consistency, and hard work are just as, if not more important drivers to success. I am living proof of this. Being successful is having a passion for doing something that you love and finding a way to turn that passion into an opportunity that is profitable and has broad impact. Most importantly, success should create and inspire excitement for you, within you, and within the world. Bend the rules and challenge traditional standards, take calculated risks, turn basic ideas into greatness, and do not be afraid to deal with the consequences of failure in order to bring those dreams to fruition. Two, working hard to take advantage of the opportunities presented. Be present, receptive, and open. The biggest misconception that people have behind anybody's success is that there's a clear path or a formula. There are many dangers with this type of thinking. First, it makes success seem like some easy plug and play formula, which it isn't. Being successful is a personal and oftentimes unconventional thing. It looks different for everyone. Second, thinking that there's some clear path will put you in a position to start comparing yourself to others, which creates a necessary pressure that could be discouraging and contrary to your goals. There's no manual for being successful, so distance yourself from the negative effects that come with thinking you are making a mistake, because there are no mistakes. Everything that you will encounter in life is an experience to learn from and lessons to apply as you move forward. Mistakes only occur when you continue to engage in the same decisions or behaviors with no regard for the lessons you've learned. Never turn your nose up at any experience because you never know what will come of it. Opportunities can arise from anywhere, so be flexible and keep an open mind. The most humble beginnings can be fertile ground for learning, growing, and taking risks that pay out down the line. Every experience you will encounter has meaning and the potential to impact your future. So don't take the dirty work, the grunt work, the thankless jobs for granted. Maximize them. Three, create a strong support group, your trusted inner circle. While your destiny begins and ends with you, it's virtually impossible to do it alone. Surround yourself with people who are going to cheer you on, who are going to hold you responsible for your actions, challenge you to push yourself to greater heights. This begins with your parents, your family. It extends to your teachers, your mentors. But yes, this even includes your friends. And looking for those people, do not only find people who are going to hype you up and tell you how great you are, but also find people who love and believe in you enough to be real with you and to tell you when you can do better. Be selective in choosing your inner circle, but also be humble enough to listen and allow them to have influence in your life. And most importantly, remember to thank these people, as these are the people in your lives who want only the best for you, which is a blessing, and you should never take your blessings for granted. Four, being uncomfortable. Do not be afraid of fear. Complacency is probably the greatest impediment to success. And often we become complacent because it allows us to be comfortable. Being comfortable will always undermine your ambition and ultimately destroy your potential for success. Constantly challenge and push yourself beyond the boundaries of even what you believe is possible from yourself. Do not be afraid. As a matter of fact, make fear your friend. Fear leads to a release of adrenaline and adrenaline coursing through your body can only result in one of two things, fight or flight. That's what the response is called. So propulsion or paralysis, which will you choose? The choice is clear. Embrace fear. Use it to your advantage 
as a gauge and a barometer to ensure that you are constantly growing. Make it work for you and not against you. Employ fear as your tool so that when that adrenaline rushes, you allow it to propel you to new heights. Five, believe in yourself. Believe that you are destined for greatness. This doesn't mean that greatness is going to come easily because you find yourself here today. It simply means that you have the potential to be great in anything you choose to do. If you believe in yourself, if you apply yourself, and if you just bust your butt to get there. No one is going to work harder for you than you will. No one is going to care about what you want in life more than you do. These are not just cliches. These are truths to live by. A few years ago, a speaker at a high school graduation in Massachusetts received a lot of flack from the media for telling the graduates that they were not special. Of course, everyone believes they're special. Everyone has special talents. Everyone is unique. If you ask any of the parents out there, their child is very special. But that was not what he meant. His point was that there's nothing special about any of us that entitles us to anything. Not privileges, not accomplishments, not money, nothing. Everyone has to earn their way in this life. Work hard and fight for what you want. I say this to impress upon you that success begins with you. Do not be afraid to create a vision for your life and set goals to get there. People may laugh at you, try to tear you down, but you have to build a confidence in yourself that's unshakable. This will come with time and with the experiences you will have as you go out into the world. Today, you transition from being students of Bloomfield College to being students of your passion. Gain the tools you need to accomplish whatever it is you set your mind to. Be confident. You must exemplify confidence in everything you do because confidence is what people are going to respond to. But confidence comes from knowledge. Continue to learn and grow. Your intellect is something that no one has handed to you and no one can take away from you. We're all born with nothing. But today, as you receive your diplomas, the physical culmination of your years of hard work and effort, you're being handed a very important tool for your success. But the rest is going to be up to you. Remember that success is a process. You'll have to stay focused, avoid distractions that are going to cause you to stray off course, dare to be different and be prepared to suffer through and learn from the struggles. Now is the time to practice those habits that will allow you to achieve the goals you've dreamed of and to transition into the life you see for yourself. It's not going to be easy to go against the grain or press on when challenges present themselves as obstacles. But let my own life be example to you of the power of dreaming big and staying motivated. It is possible. Embrace this exciting moment as everyone gathered here today celebrates you. They expect the best from you. But now you must demand the best from yourselves. Go out into the world and create your legacy. God bless you all and congratulations. And now for your virtual enjoyment, I mean, what's a celebration without some live entertainment, right? Well, here today, representing for the state of New Jersey is a talented young lady who grew up singing in a local church in Newark South Ward, Miss Allie Caldwell. Allie not only learned how to sing in the church, but she also learned about the grace and mercy of God under her grandmother and mother's loving guidance and deep Christian values. Allie has been a longtime background singer for multiple Grammy award-winning superstar, Christina Aguilera, and became a season 11 finalist on the mega hit TV show, The Voice, while under the mentorship of country and pop recording star, Miley Cyrus. Allie was most recently featured on the second season of Fox's hit show, The Four, produced by none other than Sean Diddy Combs. With the continued grace of God and unwavering support of her family, Allie's career has soared to unimaginable heights, but the possibilities are still limitless for this talented star. Live from the Van Fossen Theater at Bloomfield College, please welcome Jersey's own, Ali Caldwell. I guess it's time to turn it up right now. I'm gonna bring some good vibes and some good energy into here and we're gonna turn it all the way up with some 
up-tempo vibes and some good Stevie Wonder, the legend himself. gonna turn it up real quick. Ah. Amanda Gonzalez, 
Brianna Alexander, Elmi Antonio, Gaber Bertomieu, Douglas Birch, Jonathan Kaye, Kirsten Coho, Liana Koch, Taylor Cooper, Damaris de Jesus, Jasmine de Jesus, Stephen Elmore, Jandra Fabian, Asia Faisan, Renaja Yanni, Eduardo Gomez, Natasha Grant, Renzo Hernandez, Jason Holguin, Lakeisha Ingram, Adalberto Jimenez Martinez, Kiara Kelly, Dauda Kenna, Matthew Virginus, Ashley Lopez, Laquanda McIver, Kevin Mojica, William Moore, Tyreke Moore, Jeremy Mapona Lacoste, Arthur Murat, Jaylene Nunez, Michael Perez, Quadasha Peterson White, Maritza Proano, Danielle Quintanar, Andrea Ramos Marquez da Silva, Charles Riemann, Cyan Richards, Imani Robinson, Carlos Rodriguez, Miguel Rodriguez Martinez, Dejane Rogers, Nedley Ramos, Wendy Sajid, Deanna Smith, Nicole Sylvester, Chalik Taylor, Genevieve Thurville, Christopher Thomas, Linda Troxler, Nathaniel Valencia, Anjane Walker, Malik Walker, Jasmine Wiggs, Kadishia Wilson, Tynasia Winningham, Elsa Yaskarabe, Christine Younger. Anastasia Adams, Michael Albright, Piper Armolt, Samantha Arroyo, Lorenzo Batista, Kiwe Brandon, Salam Burrows, Davon Carter, Jeffrey Chester, Emily Sintron, Leanne Sintron, Charles Cunningham, Joseph Darby, Daniel Dixon, Hamid Hure, Abanob Fanus, Khalil Franklin, Lucas Freitas, Christina Gales Brooks, Kevin Hernandez, Andy Hilaire, Cesar Hortado, Jin Ju, Matthew Lenk, Ismael Lopez, Frank Marinelli, Alexander Matos, Kimberly Muher, Samir Mendoza, Omar Morales, Derek O'Neill, Carlo Ocasio, Asia Page, Kiera Patterson, Yam Pelere, Paige Parmentor, Janae Plaza, Kyrie Reevy, Felicia Richmond, 
Jeremy Santiago, Barrington Scott, Curry Scott, Powell Silva, Brianna Sykes, Devon Thompson, Derek Walterton, Nicholas Watler, Mia Wildslaughter, Christopher Vick, Jamil Wilder, Josely Williams, Tiffany Williams, Isaac Winzel, Olivia Zorn. Myungju Na, Wheatley's Perez, Casey Santo, Jill Thompson, Melissa Walters, Crystal Warren, Lauren Booth, Jocelyn Galicia, Rowena Hardy, Danielle Legrand. Ala Mickey, Rose Northcott. Javon Brown, Timothy Bumpus, Anna Campbell, Tiana Colbert, Emmanuel Dua. Jesse Garcia, Driana Haley, Barbara Jacques, Jabri Law, Naja Long, Ishmael Martinez, Faith Mazur, Lanisha McCall, Anthony Shields, and Christian Smith. Jadozi Akawaku, Leslie Castro, Genesis Cortez, Nadine Doyle, Sienna Farrell, Iana Gale, Natalie Gomez, Patrick Haas, Rogelio Hernandez, Jaylene Lopez, Egypt Major, Samira McQueen, Ivana Negron, Radia Pasha, Stephanie Perez, Cynthia Parmasor, Onisha Sebastian, Sarah Shaheda, Sophia Silver, Alexis Smith, Javni Sony, Rihanna Streifert, Maya Thompson, Lenny Wilson, Thomas Wytek, Amanda and Xavier. Radwa. Adel Fata, Nicolette Albano, Stephanie Altima, Jessica Halo, Laura Tano, Michelle Dunwoody, Layla Erickin, Elizabeth Fadel, Mary Fagan, Tiffany Fernandez. Michelle Garcia, Julia Golden, Daphne Grulon Rosario, Richie Hinn, Kendra Jean Pierre, Karina Lantigua Gonzalez, Zhang Li, Victorine Long Najaka, Eva 
Lopez Luis, Oscar Meza, Sharon Mendez, Rosio Merlos Pacheco, Daniela Meza Valencia, Maria Montoya, Rosanna Morera Del Galliano, Katerin Padilla Albano, Alyssa Panuzio, Jigna Patel, Gino Perlaza, Kyle Porter, Vanessa Ramos, Brianna Reese, Sylvia Rivera, Isa Rodriguez, Paulina Ruminska, Agnieszka Satori, Simon Sonyi, Gabrielle Toussaint Blank, Jeanette Valadares, Caroline Vasconsuelos, Catherine Villa Lobos, Julia Valeri, Canil Williams, Samantha Wong, Crystal Yaw, Dana Zellis. Safi Abdus Sabur, Robert Abregar, Cecilia Acevedo Haras, Funmileo Adianju, Christine Aitken, Giovanni Aracina, Diana Adobo, Samira Baker, Mayesha Barton, Rache Black. Aldo Bustamante, Evas Callas, Stacy Castano, Liz Castro, Brianna Charles, Alicia Cobena, Rosa Maria Colon Merced, Kevin Dassey, Obina Ike, Maria Elliot Francis. Annie Espinal, Sabria Evans, Enoch Evra, Estres Exi, Vanessa Felice, Aquarius Fleming, Lauren Thunderberg, Jarlene Garcia, Ina Gathers, Sandra Yes. Jakia Hall, Kirsten Hansen, Melinda Heffernan, Michael Hidalgo, Antonia Huffman, Mary Catherine Imes, Susan James, Raquel Jeffrey, Sabria Jenkins, Janet Johnson, Andrea Judd, Dante Julius, Sherry Kabar, Calix Lewis, Bethany Legronio, Carla Lopez, Jennifer Lopez, Diane Macaranas, Shamaya Manning, Odalis Maradiaga, Chardé Mason, Nikisha McCammon, Ajay McGill, Alexandria McCoy, Kayla McNaught, Liasia Miller, Stephanie Myers, Marissa Nagala, Benny Noel, Giselle Nunez, Natalie Nunez, Elizabeth Oya, Dolores Opong Ntao, May Bernadine Oriola, Beatrice Oshinaki, Razina Pearson, Lizina Pierre, Laura Pitt, Mariana Pizarro, 
Marielle Placencia, Gary Puente, Nicole Ramos, Milka Ramos Gallo, Jacqueline Ransdell, Kalela Rabin, Igenea Rhodes, Ashley Rivera, Takiba Robinson, Brianna Rodriguez, Jessica Rodriguez, Kiara Rodriguez, Chris Melly Rodriguez, Brian Roth, Osama Saad Aldin, Siobhan Sanders, Hector Santiago, Jada Solomon, Adia Steplight, Kendon Straken, Risha Taylor, Victoria Taylor, Horatio Turner, Janita Tyler, Kevin Valdivia, Latia Waffles, Zion Watson, Marcia White, Mikea White Johnson, Denise Wilburn, Yanire Wilman, Mahasan Wilson, Mikal Wright, Aquil Young. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Michael Palladino, the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of Faculty at Bloomfield College. Ladies and gentlemen, proud families, proud faculty, we celebrate the most recent graduates of Bloomfield College. Let's share a virtual congratulations and round of applause for the class of 2020 and all the family, friends, and loved ones who have supported our graduates. Great, thank you. On behalf of Academic Affairs, thank you to our faculty, the core of Bloomfield College, who are expert teachers and scholars dedicated to providing challenging, personalized, and transformative learning experiences for our students. I thank our faculty as well as staff and administrators in every area of the college. You are all part of our special community who in so many ways have helped our distinguished graduates achieve their milestones today. We also owe a special thank you to many others who have contributed to this program. Reverend Anita Wright for her invocation, Chairman Turner for his welcome on behalf of the Board of Trustees, President Evans for her words of inspiration, and Mona Scott Young for addressing our graduates as our keynote speaker, and Allie Caldwell for her wonderful performance. Thank you to all our academic division chairs for introducing our graduates, and special thanks go to Dr. Patrick Lammy, Vice President for Student Affairs and Community Relations, and Mr. Terrence Bankston, Interim Director and Coordinator for Service Learning and First Year Experience for their hard work over the past several weeks to plan today's event. I thank you all for joining us on this very special day to celebrate and acknowledge our outstanding graduates. And to our graduates, congratulations, great job, you did it, and we are all so very proud of you. We look forward to being together at your commencement in the future, and we can't wait to hear about the great achievements you'll attain in the years ahead. But meanwhile, please stay safe and healthy. And now to conclude our virtual celebration for the Bloomfield College Class of 2020, here for your virtual enjoyment, live again from the Van Fossen Theater at Bloomfield College for an encore performance and a final tribute to our graduates. Welcome back, Jersey's own Allie Caldwell. First, I would like to say to the Bloomfield College, to the graduates, congratulations. And I know this is a rough, trying time at this moment, but you guys did it. And I think that is the magical part about what's going on right now, is the fact that it didn't stop what you accomplished. And I just want to say congratulations and keep holding on and keep pushing to the top. Um, I know all about working hard to get to where you want to get to, and I just think it's a big round of applause that you guys have accomplished something so major. And um, yeah, I'm ready to celebrate with you guys, and I'm ready to turn the vibes up with you guys, and I'm proud of you guys. I'm actually proud to be here to celebrate with you guys. So let's go. Are you guys still there with me? I said, are you still there with me? <laughs> Let's go. This song is actually a song that you 
definitely might be able to relate to. It's called Letter to Self. And I wrote this song not only to encourage myself, but to encourage all of the women out there and the men who just had an issue at one point in time with looking in the mirror and not loving what they see and looking deep within yourself and knowing that what we hold on the inside is so powerful and what we want to do and what we want to accomplish is limitless. So the song is called Love Yourself and it's so perfect for this occasion right now. And I want to encourage you all to continue to love yourself and continue to believe in yourself. So here we go. This is Letter to Self.
continue to love yourself, continue to believe in yourself, and just know that what you hold on the inside is so powerful to know that you can look in the mirror and see what God has created and to know that there is only one you. He only created one you. So that's the magical power that we all have as individuals. And that's the magical power that you have as graduates. You guys have accomplished something so great. And this is amazing. I applaud you. Keep it going. May you have the best future. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is your Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Patrick Lamby, reaching out to you to wish you all the best today and always. Hopefully you got your gift from the college and your award sometime within the past week. You have another gift coming. This medallion will be coming out with your tickets when we plan, guess what? Your in-person ceremony. This is a celebration. We are still working on seeing you in the next few months. We'll keep you posted. Again, congrats and all the best. Hey guys, it's Central Ward Councilwoman LaMonica McIver representing the great city of Newark, and I'm just checking in to wish Bloomfield's entire class of 2020 a congratulations. Wishing you much success on your next journey. Congrats. Hi, this is Terrence Bankston, class of 2004, and also the interim director for the Center for Student Leadership and Engagement here at Bloomfield College. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We are so proud of you. We appreciate and respect uh, your resilience and your commitment to finish the race as you have. And so kudos to you, your family, uh, your community that you come from can all be proud of you on today. Thank you and looking forward to you back on campus and engaged as alumni. Hi guys, my name is Rose Northcott. I'm a senior with you guys here at Bloomfield College. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody and I'm really excited to see what comes in the future. To the class of 2020, I just wanna say congratulations to you guys on accomplishing such a huge milestone and that I know you guys will definitely be amazing individuals in whatever career path that you choose to pursue in the future. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You left your mark here at Bloomfield College and continue writing your own story. Congratulations, Bluefield College Class of 2020. Um, I wish you prosperity and good luck on your future endeavors. Once a bear is always a bear. I want to give a shout out to everybody in our graduation, cl in graduation class. We finally made it. I want to thank the staff and everybody of Bluefield College campus, the faculty, everyone that has been able to participate in our group and help us to reach the point that we're at now. Say goodbye.
My time has finally come This journey's end at a new beginning Guess this was bound to end Someday Our moment's finally here The cheering crowds and the taste of Congratulations, class of 2020. We're all part of the fabric of Bloomfield College. Be part of our heart and welcome to our close-knit community of supportive alumni and friends. Every day I see the benefit of my Bloomfield College education and I'm proud to give back to my alma mater and all those around me any way I can. Take your experience and be all you can be. Be a leader. Apply the leadership skills you learned in the classroom and forge your future. Be engaged. I'm celebrating my 50th reunion this year. Be involved. Be strong. We need our healthcare leaders of tomorrow. Be an ambassador. Be a role model. Inspire the next generation. Be a proud Bloomfield College graduate. Once again, congratulations and welcome to the alumni community. We are also proud of you. Go Bears! My time has finally come This journey's end at a new beginning Guess this was bound to end someday Our moment's finally here The cheering crowds and the taste of victory Our battle's finally won Today, say goodbye to the only, say hello to the new. There is nothing that I can't do. I will follow my heart and I'll reach. Now you get to know the real me. <laughs> Joseph Darby, <laughs> 2D animation major. 